Hello, welcome to this slide session on fallopian tube pathology. I will go over four digital slides of fallopian tube lesions. You can find the links to these slides in the description and refer to the notes in Pathelecta for more details. This first lesion is not uncommon and it presents uh, in, in a female who has abdominal pain and a positive pregnancy test. A uterine ultrasound does not reveal intrauterine pregnancy. And there is some irregularity in the fallopian tubes noted. So the fallopian tube is removed. What we see is a lot of hemorrhage, very common in these lesions. And these villi, chorionic villi, very nice example. Uh, usually we don't find these many chorionic villi. That is because there is hemorrhage, there is rupture of fallopian tube, and it's like all over the place. But this is a nice one. I have a lot of villi decidual change in the fallopian tube tissue. And also, what's here? Basophilic cells, very hyperchromatic, primitive looking cells. And it looks like they're trying to form some structure. Like here, maybe the GI tract or something. So you guessed it right. This is an ectopic pregnancy. We know that fallopian tube is the most common side of ectopic pregnancy. And these usually present with uh, abdominal pain and rupture. Going to the second one. Yeah, this is a section of the fimbriated end of fallopian tube. Now, if you remember anything from the last lecture, the only thing we are looking at the fimbriated end for is stick. So let's go high power and nice here. I have very nice, very regular fallopian tube lining some cilia here and the, the nuclei are orderly arranged. But as we go down, we see that there is some crowding, which is increasing as we go along the fallopian tubes and the nuclei are getting larger. And you can see the atypia in these cells. We no longer have a single layer of cells. We no longer see cilia. And these nuclei are very large. And as we follow it here on the other side, this is becoming an invasive carcinoma. So I have mitosis here. Let me go. Oh. And mitosis here and very bizarre hyperchromatic nuclei here. Here again another atypical mitosis, mitosis here. So this is hybrid serous carcinoma arising in serous tubular, serous tubal intrapithelial carcinoma. So it's arising at the fallopian tube lining and at the fimbriated end of the fallopian tube and going all the way and making uh, an adnexal lesion. So that was your high grade serous carcinoma. Next case. Okay, this is a benign lesion. Here I have a lining of the fallopian tube. So I have the mucosa, I have the muscular layer, and I have serosa. But something is weird because like this, you can see this is a nice cross section. But what's happening here? The epithelium is here, but I also see the epithelium here, here, and here. So what else could it be? Could it be endometriosis? Hmm, I don't see any stroma. I don't see hemorrhage. It looks more like this epithelium is outpouching into the muscular layer. See, same here. The epithelium is growing into the muscular layer. So we have diverticula and we call this condition salpingitis ischemica nodosum. The last case. Now, this is something that I didn't mention in the lectures, but you will find it interesting because this lesion or this entity, it does not 
uh, just affect or infect the fallopian tube, but we can see these findings in other organ systems at, as well. And what is it? Sheets of forming histiocytes. Sheets of forming histiocytes. So you see, I have cells that have very abundant cytoplasm and it looks like there's something inside, but it's not pigmented. It's just some debris probably or fat, we don't know. And the nuclei are very regular and they're round, they're small. So this is a benign lesion. And what do we call it? Xanthogranulomatous salpingitis. Just like the previous lesion and other lesions that are inflammatory involving the fallopian tube, they don't have any link to carcinogenesis, but they increase the risk for ectopic pregnancy. So if you have any questions, you can comment and you can send an email, ask the questions. And if you found these slides interesting, there are plenty of other slides in the path presenter. Also, you can refer to the articles that are recommended on the path elective module. Thank you for listening.